In this video, I'm going to be answering a question that students often ask me, which is, which pencil do I use underneath my watercolour painting? And if you watch until the end, you'll see me also talk about um, the idea of using watercolour pencils before your, um, your painting and whether or not that's a good idea. My name's Michelle and on this channel you'll find art techniques and art business advice so do consider subscribing and if you ring the bell, a little, press the little bell button then um, you can get notifications and find out whenever I've got a new video for you as well. So today we're going to look at which pencil you should use for your um, drawing underneath watercolour. It's one of the first questions that students ask me when they join my art class is what pencil should I use to make my drawing. Now if there were an quick easy answer to that I could just say well it's you know it's a 3b and we'd all be done and video over um, but it's a little bit more complicated than that so what I'm going to do is um, in, the, in a minute I'm going to point the camera downwards um, and I'm going to start explaining about the different grades of pencils um, it's fairly simple but you know just to let you know um, what uh, what sort of pencil you should be using for your drawing and basically you've got two choices you've got a hard pencil or a soft pencil and it's not as simple as one is right or one is wrong um, there is uh, uh, you know there are advantages and disadvantages to either so let's look at pencils now so we've got um, an H pencil which is a hard pencil and we've got a um, a 4B pencil which is a softer pencil, softer and blacker and we've got an 8B pencil. Now what do the letters mean? Um, so as I've just said the letter H is for hard, um, the letter B is for black and if you have an HB that would be hard black so it's midway between the two. You might sometimes see an F pencil now the F sits around the H or HB level so you don't really have to worry about that. F stands for fine, it just means that it will sharpen to a very fine point. Now most artists do not use the H pencils for sketching. If you were doing drawing for, um, for a drawing's sake, you're not going to use this H pencil because um, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't blend and you don't get um, nice dark tones with it. However, there may be some advantages towards using um, an H pencil for underneath watercolour drawing watercolour painting. So I'm going to just scribble with them. So here's the H pencil and here's the 4B and here is the 8B. Now I hope you can see that the um, the 8B, and I haven't long sharpened this, the 8B is incredibly soft and incredibly smudgy so you're going to get a wider broader, scruffier line. So which do you choose when you're doing a drawing for underneath watercolour painting? So you've got choices. Um, you could use a hard pencil, it's going to keep your paper cleaner and it's going to smudge less and it's going to show less, but it's going to be more difficult to rub out. It may dent your paper and leave an impression. And what I mean by that is that you might actually manage to rub out the pencil but then when you paint over the top the paint may sit in that dent. So I did one here earlier to show you and um, I don't know if you can see that but um, we've, we've actually got the, the line there was rubbed out but the paint pigment has sat in the dip because we've embossed the paper basically and you can't get rid of that. So there's your disadvantage to the hard pencil. Now what's the advantage to using uh, one of the softer pencils? Now a soft pencil is darker, it's easier to see, you don't have to press as hard, it's nice and easy to see it. Um, it rubs out more easily so that's your advantage there. Now there are disadvantages to the soft pencil. Now the disadvantage is it can make your paper really greasy you know so if we have a look at this bottom one here I don't know if you can see that it's, it's really um, you know it can easily smudge up your paper whereas the top one is going nowhere. So this bottom one here this soft pencil it can make your paper very dirty and scruffy and you get less fine details with it. Now, what about watercolour pencil for underdrawing? So some people recommend that you use a watercolour pencil, one of the coloured ones for underdrawing, and they say that when you, um, when you put your water on it, it disappears, it becomes part of your painting, and so you don't have to worry about pencil lines when you're finished. 
Now, the thing with that is um, it's, it's not really true. Watercolor pencil never completely disperses. If you paint in a very loose, splashy style, it may suit you to use a watercolor pencil. So, you know, you can experiment with that and see if you like it. But if you want more precision, you're gonna find that having that um, watercolor pencil along the edge, um, it's, it's going to uh, it's, it's going to give you um, sort of rough outlines and smudgy outlines. It's not going to be uh, give you a lot of clarity. So I don't generally recommend using watercolor pencils for underdrawings, but you could give it a try and see if it suits you. So to recap, do you want a hard pencil or do you want a soft pencil underneath your um, your watercolor painting? And the truth is, you might want um, what either, depending on what sort of work you're doing at the time. Now. Botanical artists are very fond of the HB pencil or the H pencils because what this means is they can uh, they can work really cleanly and really finely. So if you are like the botanical artist and you want that real, real fine line that's not going to smudge and not going to mess up your paper, then all you've got to remember to do is to use it really, really lightly and not to press hard. Okay, so that's how you use your, um, your H pencils, your HB pencils. Now, you might decide that you would rather be able to um, see more and to use a softer pencil. I usually use a softer pencil. So how do I not get in this big old smudgy mess? Well, there's several things I do. One thing is that when I'm rubbing out, I don't use my hand, I don't do this. I don't sort of rub out and then, and get a load of mess all over my paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub out and then to get rid of all the little bits, I'm gonna use a clean, dry brush and I'm going to just brush them off my paper like so. The other thing I'm going to do is if I'm working on one part of the paper and I, I need to lean on the work that I've already done in pencil, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of kitchen paper and I'm going to lean my hand on the kitchen paper. In this way I keep the oil from my hands off the paper and I don't make a big smudgy mess. So your answer is choose a hard pencil for botanical and fine detailed work, but don't press too hard, otherwise you risk it staying there forever and denting your paper so that the paint pigment sits in it and brings back your mistakes later on. Choose a soft pencil for ordinary watercolor work, but make the minimum of lines and keep your paper clean. Try not to smudge or lean on your paper. So that's your choices. Um, I'll put some links below. You can have a look at different pencils. If you only had um, to choose one pencil, I'd go for something like a two or a three B, but um, ideally you want a set of them. Um, not so much the H pencils, the H pencils aren't as useful. Probably the hardest you'll want to go is the H or the HB, and then you want a good selection of B grades as well. If you've got a nice selection of B grades, you can use them for sketching as well as for your underpainting for your watercolors. I hope you found that useful. Please do like, share and subscribe. Leave me a note in the comments and let me know uh, what pencil you like to use for your watercolour paintings. Um, I've left you some um, links and resources in the show notes. So you can have a look at those, connect with me on social media. You can pop across to my website and read more about choosing your pencil for watercolours.